All right, guys. Welcome back to the Astral Legacy. So last time we landed onto this hillside, windy hillside called Hoogland, right? So now we are just going to, you know, talk to everybody in the town and gather information on the egg. Oh, what a fresh breeze! Hmm. What's wrong, Professor? Brace yourselves, everyone. What? Uh oh. What the hell? This. Oh, is that's the, that's the bride, right? And yeah, there's a wedding going on in this area. Ooh, what in the world was that? I'm surprised it didn't blow this house away. There's a tornado, right? Look around, Luke. It's kind of dead. Did you see the wedding party? They seemed completely undeterred by what just happened. Oh, what? So that's something normal. That's something normal in this area. So the houses are, you know, just completely destroyed one day, and the other day they just build it back. I don't know. Right, we got another mystery item, floral arc. So this is the wedding area, I think. The church, I should say. Yeah, maybe. All right. So, hint coin. Yeah, we'll talk to this lady and her sheep a little bit later. Ah,、uh, that's nice. A sandwich. Wow, that's a big sandwich. And we're eating the bread, the ham. I'm not sure. Yeah, we got another hint coin. What about here? A gold oca ocarina, I should say. Okay. On the bell, another hint coin. So I think that's all to here. Yeah. So let's take a look at the latest journal at the mercy of the elements. All right. So that's a that's basically a tornado. What? All right. So let's talk to this guy. This girl. Amy, excuse me, the bride who was just over there. Do you know where she was going? Well, that's a man, not a lady.、Hmm, bride appeared. You mean Romilda? Do you, eh? I suppose so. I was hoping to take some photographs of the ceremony. Okay, but not one of me. <laughs> All right, so this is person number seventy-three counting sheep with forty piglets, and then this farmer has a flock of around four hundred sheep. Keen to find out the exact number he started counting, he counted them in batches, hoping to save time, but lost track at the end anyway. What he remembers is that when he counted them three at a time, he had one left over. Four at a time, two left over. Five at a time, four left over. Seven at a time, two left over. All right, so that's a math problem. So let's take our memo out. Three nine three. Yeah, three nine three can divide it by three. And what about count it down four at a time? Yeah, two left. So three nine two divided by four. Yeah, it also can. <coughs> They can divide it by five when four left over, so minus two three nine two can divide it by seven. Yeah, that's also correct. So he has three hundred and ninety four sheep. All right. So that's some kind of a math problem, I should say. <laughs> Sheer class. Right, puzzle number seventy-three, counting sheep, and we got a new nutty roller course, Rocky Arena. 
There. Now, will you tell us the way to the wedding ceremony, please? The wedding is happening at the chapel on that hill. I see. Well, thank you for your help. I'll come back and take some photos around here just as soon as the wedding's over. Well, if you like it so much, why don't you get married like Romilda, eh? <laughs> Definitely make the village a happier place to be. Well, thank you. I suppose. Bye bye, bye bye, Felicia. <laughs> the sheep is gone. Bye bye. So the bride's gone to the chapel. Is everything all right, Professor Sycamore? Oh yes, I was just wondering where the groom was. That's all. <clears throat> well, he's probably waiting for her there. Okay. Look, that must be the chapel up there. Oh, over there, that one. Okay, let's go and see for ourselves. Oh, that place, I think. All right, so head for the chapel on the hill. Before that, we will check out the nutty roller course, number seven, Rocky Arena. You've got free reign of the ledge, but don't think this will be easy. All right, no, I don't think it would be easy. All the nutty roller courses are very difficult. All right, so the correct way to do that would be do this first. All right, so we got a tree planted, and then pick this one up, roll this one over here. And then we roll this rock down this way. All right. And next one, roll this rock down this way again. Okay. Next, move this rock over this. Oops! Wait! 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 No! 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 This rock over this way. Yeah. All right. So now it will stop the、uh, walnut if we roll it into the tent. Then we go over to the other side. Pick this rock up and then roll it down this way. Yeah. And then you know, or you all know the last step, right? Just go back, and do this. All right. So you've completed Rocky Arena. That's good. So okay, let's go back to the story and let's head it for the chapel on the. Hill. Ah, that's nice. That's look really nice. I like the windmill. It's pretty. Well, it appears we've made it in time for the wedding ceremony. Something's not right, though. There seems to be a bit of a curve, curve row going on. What does that mean? Julian, Sage Shepherd, wait! Hear me speak once more. This nightmare tortures me, consumes my soul. Why must you push her through the chapel door? Why must Romilda face such misery? I beg, Sage Shepherd, close that chapel door. My fair Romilda merits not this fate. What? Julian, stop it, would you? Romilda, though you say this is your will, it surely cannot be what you desire. Deny this custom and refuse its aim. Listen, I'm happy. I want to be the Dragon Lord's bride. I'm happy, all right. So I guess this is it. Goodbye, Julian. What? Romilda, this cannot. What is happening? 
Today we witness the union of Romilda and the mighty Dragon Lord, a union that will bless our village with fair winds. Uh, uh, uh okay. Sage Shepherd, please undo what you have done. The wedding ceremony is concluded. Okay, Romilda is now the Dragon Lord's wife. So it's some kind of a sacrificial ceremony. So sacrifice a young lady to someone, someone, and then the wind will subside. I don't know. It's a shame you couldn't take any wedding photograph. Yeah. No, something is very wrong here. All right, talk to some of the villagers. Okay. Well, that is some kind of a sacrificial, right? So you sacrifice someone to the Wind Lord, the Dragon Lord, whatever. And then it maybe it will stop the the wind. New mystery item: whole written windmill. Yeah, so it will stop the wind, so they will the wind won't destroy the village like what we saw a little bit before. Hint coin and anything else. All right, another hint coin. Okay, I think that's all. So let's, let's talk to them. Shepherd, bless you, travelers. Thank you for visiting our village. The ceremony is now over, but please stay a while and enjoy the local. Actually, I was rather hoping to ask you about the ceremony, right? Photographs of Romilda. Well, her soul shall soon depart this chapel to blow as a fair wind through our village. You mean she will die? You've sacrificed her. How could you do such a thing, my dear ladies? You witnessed the fictitious whirlwind that struck the village moments before the ceremony, right? That whirlwind was a manifestation of the Dragon Lord's rave. Okay, so she is going to die. So how are they going to kill her? Yeah, so they just put the girl inside the chapel and wait until her to starve to death. Uh, look how thick the door is. There's no chapel. It's a prison. This isn't the time to think about the ashram, Professor. What about the poor bride? If we don't find a way into the chapel, she's going to die. Uh, yeah, she's going to be stay inside. Oh wait, the aura stone is coming from inside the chapel. What? Does this mean the Asran egg? There's more. There's another force inside this chapel, something more powerful than the Aura Stone, something related to the Asran. But surely this chapel was built long after the demise of the Asran. How can the two possibly be connected? I don't know. Well, there must be some connection. Aurora will be sensing something here. Well, so we have to find a way into the chapel and to save the girl. All right, let's start by asking the village for more information. So another mystery, right? So the bride of Hooglan. The people of Hooglan seem to think that the whirlwind affects the village are the work of a certain dragon lord. All right, so I have to find a way into the chapel by talking to villagers and ask for more information, and 
Of course, we will do that in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.